There is energy, artistic energy. Evelyn Keyes came to Hollywood from Atlanta, Georgia at the age of 18. She was innocent and ambitious. And as she relates in her new book, Scarlett O'Hara's Younger Sister, her ambition continued long past her innocence. She was first signed by Cecil B. DeMille. She became a major Hollywood female star in movies like Gone with the Wind and The Jolson Story. And along the way, Evelyn Keyes made a discovery that's captured by the epigram in the front of her book. And it reads, there are two tragedies in life. One is not to get your heart's desire. The other is to get it. I asked her if she was making a comeback with this appearance, and she said, I never retired. I mean, I never thought of myself as retired. I just thought of myself as not doing that right now, and I'm doing this right now. I was trying to have a life. That was, I was living with Artie Shaw at that time, and that was like the fourth or fifth marriage. It was one of those up the line. And I was devoted myself to that. We were building the house, and I was learning to cook, and I was planting the, I learned that, that, uh, that food, uh, certain meals had to have herbs in them, so I was, I was uh, making an herb garden. I was the busiest person that, that you've ever, like a one-armed paper hanger there I was. But you were so, focusing on that, and at that time were you planning any of the things that you're now doing, or uh, but, were you making plans for getting back into production and writing and things? Well, only writing. writing. I mean, I did, I had, I began to write slowly. While you were doing that. And got more and more interested in, in writing. In fact, right. so much so that I finally popped out a novel. Right. And now you were an adventurous and uh, independent woman before, before it became the end thing, like through, through the uh, movement. And uh, did you, at that time, run into any flack from people who felt that you ought to behave differently and less adventurously? I'm speaking no, now of lovers and, and your style of living and, uh, and everything. And oh, those older days. you mean, did I get any flack from the lovers? <laughs> or, or your public? Or... <laughs> no, I didn't. No, no. I don't know anybody who would have dared, would they? I mean, they can't come up to somebody and say, I don't like the way you're living. No, but some, you know? so many, you're, you're right. I think they don't do that. Yeah. Some, so many people who could be described as uptight, I guess, are in constant fear that that's going to happen, like fear that the dentist is going to be painful or something. And you apparently were not in such fear, so you did no. what you wanted to do. I had many fears. You did? I mean, but... I was ridden with fears. But uh, what other people would be th thinking what wasn't one of them. I see. What were, what were some of the fears, if you don't mind? Well, for instance, I began to realize along the way, about after the... My third husband was John Houston, and that one wasn't working either. I mean, I was raised on the Cinderella myth like everybody else. You could find your man or you find your, your woman and you live happily ever after. And it wasn't happening to me. And I began to think, what, what's wrong with me? Where am I amiss? How can everybody else get this and I can't? And that was fearful. Uh, some man, one of the men, would, would tell me that I didn't always behave womanly. I began to realize that along the way, that, that it was always a man who was telling me I wasn't behaving womanly. And womanly meant uh, following your man around. I mean, yeah. for instance, to have ambition and to want to have your career in front. Mm -hmm. That was, wasn't They were womanly. saying you weren't subservient and, and yeah. I, uh, yeah. identifying that with being womanly. I spoke up often. Right. And that's, uh, Are women better off now, do you think, in general, in today's climate than, than then? Well, they're not better off yet, because now it's a total state of confusion, because we're neither one nor the other. I mean, we're, we're supposed to be equal, huh? Quote, unquote. And uh, we're not really, you know? We're not there yet. So it's a transitional period. And uh, so it's an, I think it's an, a tough period to go through. Do you think it'll come about, though? Do you think the goals will be reached? I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, you know, even to even as we speak i mean it never occurs to a young boy that he doesn't have to go out and work and make a way for himself in the world but it still occurs